Hello everyone, you are welcome to Nest Telly. Today we are going to be discussing Index Fund, a guide to index and ETF investment, a best long term option <laughs> by Kevin D. Peterson. This name is long. <laughs> okay, so I actually got, um, I, I came across this book on Scribd because I am presently very curious about investing long-term investments like and the way stock brokers are or the whole buying stock and all that it's always confused me till date so if this is what you're interested in this could be you okay so hopefully this also inspires you to want to do the same thing so if you're curious about the word index it literally means record right index means the record so in this book we are educated in about we are educated about index and etfs they are considered the best form of passive incomes where your investment comes to fruit 30 to 50 years 30 to 50 years <laughs> after you start to invest index fund is an investment form index form uh, index fund okay index fund is an investment fund that follows some benchmark stocks. A benchmark index is a standard that is used to measure every other stock in the pool. Now, the way I understand this, understand the concept of benchmark. In Nigeria, I would use noodles. Indomie has been in Nigeria for about 20 years. Now, there are, new, there are other new uh, noodles popping up here and there. But if every time someone tells you, oh, try these other noodles, their jollof is good. Try these other noodles, their chicken is good, their onions is good. The first thing you want to ask is, is it as good as Indomie chicken or Indomie onion? That is how you've used Indomie to be the benchmark because Indomie has been consistent for about 20 years. So what you ate 20 years ago in the Indomie onion chicken is pretty much what you're eating now and you're comfortable with that. So if somebody tells you try the Indomie onion chicken, you feel, try, sorry, try this other noodles onion chicken. You're tempted to be like, is it as good as the Indomie? And the person says, oh, it's better. You are more driven. You're like, ah, for it to be better than this one, you want to try it out. So look at it like that. The benchmark index is the index that we use to measure the standard of all the other indexes in the American um, stock pool. So the example of benchmark indexes are things like um, the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq 100. The S&P 500 um, is an investment fund that tracks the success and the stocks of over 500 consistently successful companies some of them are over a hundred years old and so when someone invests into the s p 500 companies you're buying bits and pieces of stock from these 500 companies that are doing very well that is why s p 500 is one of the most popular and most successful index funds etf is short for exchange traded fund now i am still yet to understand the major difference between ETFs and index because everything that I've read so far feels like it's pretty much the same. The only thing that I found different is the time where, there is, where it is traded. Now, if you've watched any form of news, you've heard Nasdaq 100, S&P 500, and you know about the time when the bell goes off in um, New York Stock Exchange. Now, the difference is that I think the ETFs can be, can be, can be bought and sold at any time in the day and the index is sold at just a particular time every day the author believes that etfs and the index fund is one of the safest way to invest for the long term he also advises that it is best for lower class and middle class people who make small small amounts of money instead of having like let me say 10 million dollars bash dropping it in there it's better to be doing let me say a thousand every year something like that a thousand dollars every year um, invested into this ETFs or index funds. In places like America, between 20 and 25, a young person can generally start work. So he's advising that at this age, if you can make it a duty to just be um, investing in an index fund or an ETF 
for from then to they're like 50 or 60 by the time you are the end of your life you have enough cushion to be able to handle everything now if you know anything about life at the end of your life we actually tend to need more money and we're able to work less you get so it's actually a great way for you to get a lot of money coming to you to be able to handle whatever hospital bills any care bill that you might have and all that so he believes that is actually one of the best ones to use he also goes on to explain the advantages and disadvantages of the ETFs and the index funds. The major disadvantage or the only disadvantage being that it is not an instant. You don't get your, your returns instantly. It's not people that trade stock now and you know you, you buy today, then tomorrow it is, so it's falling, you sell it, or it has gotten money, you sell it and make the profit. That is not what this is for. This is for someone that will just save, that's just keep your money there and leave it there for a very long time. That's the major disadvantage. Every, every other advantage is that it works for you well. It, it works according to whatever speed you have going on with you when it comes to making that, making your deposits towards this investment. Lastly, he instructs the best way to buy your index fund and your ETFs. However, he actually warned that if you are buying it through a brokerage or a brokerage firm, um, the more money you need to pay the brokerage for buying the fund for you, the higher the possibility that they don't know what they are doing. I found it very interesting. He said that the bigger and older companies they, that, that do index funds and ETFs, they don't charge as much. They charge a very small percentage of whatever you're putting there for investing the money for you. But honestly, that is the major thing you can take care of. You have to make sure you're buying through the right source. You're not just giving money to someone and they are claiming to be dropping it somewhere and then they are not. Do you understand? So you want to be sure that you're getting that right. If you're getting that right, then you can be taken care of much later in life by your ETS and your index. So what do you think? Will you try to invest or at least get to know more? I'm very curious about this. <laughs> anyway, subscribe if you haven't. And thank you so much for spending time with me today. And... Enjoy. Until next time. Bye.